Welcome to a special edition of the Crimson News Bulletin. My name is Brandon Judy, and today we'll be discussing a story of truth, consequences, or the lack thereof. Now, fair warning, the story contains descriptions of rape and sexual assault, so your discretion is advised. Two anonymous students at Florida Tech have come forward to discuss their rapes in 2017 and 2018 and how they were reported to security. Their cases did not appear in the annual security and fire safety reports, which is in violation of the Clary Act. The Jeanne Clary Disclosure of Campus Security Policy and Campus Crime Statistics Act, also known as the Clary Act, is a federal law requiring United States colleges and universities to disclose information about crime on and around campuses. Due to the fact that Florida Tech receives federal funding, it is required to publish an annual security report for both students and employees every October 1st. Florida Tech's Office of Safety and Security prepares an annual report in cooperation with local law enforcement agencies such as the Melbourne Police Department, the Palm Bay Police Department, and the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. Other university departments also work in collaboration with compiling crime reports and statistics such as the Title IX Office. The following crimes are mandatory reporting under the Clary Act. Criminal homicides such as murder and non-negligent manslaughter and negligent manslaughter. Sex offenses such as rape, fondling, incest, and statutory rape. Arrests and judicial referrals for liquor law violations, drug abuse violations, and weapons law violations. An additional category which includes robbery, aggravated assault, burglary, motor vehicle theft, and arson. Hate crimes, which include offenses, definitions relating to hate bias related crimes, larceny, simple assault, intimidation, and destruction, damage, vandalism of property. The Violence Against Women's Act is an amendment within Clary that expands the rights to campus survivors of sexual assault and includes the following crimes, domestic violence, dating violence, and stalking. An anonymous source confirmed to us that they were raped on campus in 2018 and reported this incident to Title IX, and the, which is a campus security authority, so they are a mandatory reporter. They told us the following. Even though the student did not take legal action, according to Frank Ainone, the director of security, whether or not a victim decides to pursue charges, a report is made regardless of the outcome. When asked how many cases of rape have been reported to Linda Jansenson, our Title IX coordinator, for the past three years, she said, quote, I do not know the exact numbers, end quote. When asked how many Title IX reports Jansenson had handed over to security to include within this year's Clary report, she said, quote, I do not know, end quote. Jansenson went on to say that she was not in the Title IX coordinator position when reports were made last year in 2018, though her start date was February of 2018. Another anonymous source came forward to us and said that after reporting their rape in 2018, that they went through an investigation and disciplinary hearing, which took over one year and resulted in disciplinary action for their rapist. This rape was also not included within this year's Clary data. After their initial report, the student heard nothing for five months regarding the investigation and the scheduling of the disciplinary hearing. The student told us the following. According to a press release from the National Association of Clary Compliance Officers and Professionals, as of February 2019, the new amount that the United States Department of Education can impose for noncompliance with the Clary Act is $57,317 per violation. This story is not about individual blame because the scope of the problem appears to be too large for any individual to be wholly responsible. Therefore, the entirety of the Title IX process at Florida Tech needs to be thoroughly and publicly investigated. For the safety of all our students, this institution must have a just culture. If you've made a report to security or Title IX and feel it has not been handled correctly, visit endrapeoncampus.org slash the Clary Act to file a complaint. 
As a student-run program, your voices are extremely important to us. If you feel you have experienced something similar as described in this piece and would like to speak with us, please contact us at crimson at fit.edu. There are additional resources on screen, such as the National Sexual Assault Hotline and the Women's Center Counseling Line. Thank you for watching. I have been Brandon Judy. This has been the Crimson News Bulletin Special Report, signing off.